Hey guys, and welcome back to Hacksnet, the hacking simulator, where we have been doing all sorts of wonderful things. We have literally just upgraded from some weird sort of public face of a hacking community to a private in a, uh, invite only group. So I feel like we are advancing well. We've also figured out there are a few things we need to do to make ourselves safe. One of the first things I'm going to do is run a shell on, so on my own machine and start a trap. That means if anybody comes and starts trying to hack my machine, I can trigger it off and, then, I don't know, profit happens after that. Uh, the other thing I want to do is go around and run some shells on some other PCs, uh, mainly because I need a whole load of... I need a botnet to over, over, overwhelm some stuff, and unfortunately, these two that I've been using normally hasn't been enough. So we're going to go and get Jason. You can see that I'm mainly going for named servers. We don't want to be like Jmail or Slashbot News Network. We, we don't want any of those. We just, we just want people. Ordinary people. There we go. Okay, with the three shells working, I don't think I can run as many um, hacking softwares as I would like but it's it's good it's a good start I probably should have gone around and deleted all my connections and stuff from that but I think I think we're all right for now I will go and do that at the end no no I won't hold hold fast while I go around and delete all logs we were told very very early on by bit you you guys remember bit yeah bit said like don't get sloppy make sure you delete everything so we're gonna make sure we go around and delete everything including the logs from my own PC because tch, we don't want this getting out now there are a few other files that I've got in my machine at the moment. Uh, mo most notably are things like this IRC log, where we've learned Azure Diamond's login details for... It was for somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. Um, we've got some activation passwords for some other hackers. I mean, that's pretty nice. We can get in uh, under their names on some other places. But let's go and check our mail for now. We have uh, affirmed the invitation. I mean, there's not really anything else left to do. Well done. Passing this automated test, not everyone manages it. I've got something good in mind for you. Shouldn't be too easy either. If you want to break into the CFC servers and find me the 11 secret herbs and spices. Oh, yeah. Remember that? We're going after chicken recipes. How, how could this not be amazing? There's a public drop server and there is also CFC.com. Now that is the one we're going to go check. Should we go and have a look at the public drop server first? Hey, uh, you are authenticated to open file, upload into this server, use upload file name. Uh, okay, well, that's all we need to do. Uh, files downloaded with SCP. Uploads from there need to be used this path. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. We we can do all of that. Let's go back to here and have a look. Hmm, everyone sure does love chicken. Let's do a probe. Oh yes, indeed. Because we, we need to be able to look behind and see what's going on. This guy is like super weak. I don't I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this at all. This this looks like something that's going to be all sorts of trouble. Where do we get the HTTP web th web server? I think I've got an idea. Do you, guys, do you guys think we have an idea as well? If I type web and autocomplete, web server worm, maybe it's going to run on port 80. I just, I've just got this feeling. I've just got a feeling that that's what it's all about. Yes. Well, it wants to run. We get some sort of oscillations on the go. The hacker's chocolate helps me through. And we've got... Is this gonna is this gonna match up? Am I supposed to do anything here? Is it gonna do? It's done. It's just done. That that's it. Just like that. And then we can do a port hack. Always finish with the port hack because we need the passwords for the uh, administrative rights and stuff like that, right? Why why would that not be what we want to do? Okay, so we're now in uh, view source. Oh, look at this index uh, HTML. That that that's good. We we can do with that. Uh, ooh, and here we go. We're in. We've got a web systems. Default boot module, that would be nice. I might steal their X server and see see what they've got. There's the logs that we need to do. Server structure, web admins. Remember this server is exclusively for front-end content. All company files should be hosted on the more secure mainframe and internal servers. This server maintains a link. Scan. Oh, there, there, there it is. Uh, the server maintains a link back to the mainframe for updating maintenance purposes. Do not modify this configuration. Oh, should we go and modify some stuff? Uh, first off, actually, no, let's let's go and have a look around. Let's let's see what we want here. I don't think actually there is anything here we're going to want. Okay, let's uh, RM star, get rid of all this. Like, they, they don't know we need to know we're here, do they? No, of course they don't. Why, why would they need to know? I, oh, we could run a shell on this PC. 
So I thought long and hard about whether to run a shell on here or not, and no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to at all. Okay, so here we are at the corporate mainframe. I've got a feeling the moment we start probing and running hacks on this place, we're going to end up with a little bit of trouble, but let's do it anyway. Uh, that's not 21, it's 22 for that. There we go, we, we have this running. What about the uh, web thingy? Can, can we get this working straight away? It was one of the ones that seemed to have taken the longest. We need to get all four of these open if we're going to actually manage to do anything. Uh, can we run the... Yes, we can actually run that as well. And then finally the SMT. Now this one cannot be run until the other is closed because look at my RAM usage. Just look at that RAM usage. But we're doing all right. There we go. So errors, insufficient memories. Really? Does it... Yeah, okay. We're, we're just going to have to wait then. Go just going to have to wait. Okay, there we go. Now we've got the RAM to be used. A little, little unfortunate. We've got to get ourselves a port hack ready because once we have all four ports, we can then decide to crack it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, as long as things aren't going to go all strange. I'm surprised they... Don't tell me insufficient memory. Oh, just just queue up the the uh, queue up the commands for when there's memory ready. Okay, so we are in there now. Uh, could I just like log in and out? Is is that a thing that can happen? Bin sys home training files. Uh, SCP. Let's see if we can do this. Star. No, it's not going to let me do that. Okay, uh, are we just going to grab stuff? 11 secrets. I marked white plastic badges for mixed with the fryer batter for management, even they cannot know the formula. In fact, only two people in the world know the formula. They accept, especially for them traveling in the same vicinity at the same time. Rest assured the formula. Uh, very well kept secret. That's that's not what we want. Orders record, guys. Um, the record suppository. Orders record. Uh, orders. Order records, sorry, for each store should be logic, uh, logged logically and archives updated should only be sent annually to the central CFC records. Sourcing from the orders is kept in the same repository. Records are only in the case of emergency, usually to trace food poisoning issues and are only issued personally in printed format upon request. I wanna, I wanna steal this little, um, can we go note? Is, is that something we can do? Uh, no, no, that's not something we can do. I'm literally going to have to write this down, 7177.65, and hope it just kind of stays there. It does just stay there, so that's pretty good. We're going to have a look around and see if there's anything else as well. 12% uh, off. This this guy's actually gone and worked there, hasn't he? He, he has actually gone and worked there. I've, I've gone and worked at KFC, and literally comes in a, a white bag that you pour in with an, a bag equal size of salt. It's crazy. Guide doc text is what I want of it. Uh, Serve the world. Okay, nothing really popping out here. Uh, so, with all that in mind, uh, not the bin, we want the log files. And we're going to go. Uh, oh no, we want to do a scan, right? Let's do a scan. There we go. We don't need to, to learn stuff. We just need to do the scan. Don't need to remember stuff, sorry. The IP address. That was the one we want, right? 202. It's up here somewhere oh man i've got rid of it all that's okay that's okay uh with that in mind let's uh double check that the logs aren't there dc no 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 dc bye so that should be nice and safe let's go around and delete some log files shall we that definitely a thing that needs to be happening as we are knee deep in corporate espionage here we we definitely don't want to oh my bad we definitely don't want to leave a trace anywhere. Now, I think I'm probably being overcautious here. I don't think the game's going to be checking on me yet, because we do have to remember it is just a game. Um, um, and mine? Should we, should we do mine as well? We've been doing a lot, really. We have been doing a lot, but th there we go. That's mine as well. Okay, here we go. Last place, I'm hoping. It might be the last place. It might not. Firewall detected. Analyze. Uh, let's just do that. Go. Uh, already in progress. We've got to let it let it finish out. We've got to just keep it running. I would love to actually be able to count how long this takes and then run a little bat file that does this for me. Let alone the fact that I'm gonna, now going to have to like spell out solve <coughs> C H I C K. Yeah, chicken. Really? Is, is, <laughs> is it chicken? Okay, successfully. Woo! Okay, port crack. 
or hack or whatever we want to call it. Uh, open additional ports. Of course we need to open it. What? Who? Why would we not think that we need to open ports? What are we at? 68 seconds. That's that's fine. That's fine. Unless it gets run on 80. Just waiting for this to come all the way down. It would be really nice to have like some some program set up that can run these one after the other for me. Oh, I did, oh no. Uh, mm, mm, how do I close one down? How do I uh, right click? No. Uh, PID. No. I, there was a. There was a. So we go PS right, and then we go kill uh, one seven five. Boom. Gone. Okay. So we got access. We got access. Now we get the port hack. Got to. Got to keep things t clean and tidy. You know, like delete and, and put stuff in. Make sure your RAM is running at optimum. Uh, view file system. First off, logs. Yeah, there we are. Bin, sys. Well, I don't know why I went in there. Ordering. Seasonal ordering guidelines. Uh, uh, da -da -da, one local order. Uh, two separate deliveries can be made. Uh, I am going to have to disconnect, aren't I? We've not done this quick enough. Um, SCPS. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to have to disconnect. Ah, uh, get away from me. Let's just delete all of that. DC, go. Um, okay, can we can we just reconnect? I hate that it lets me do this. Now, why, why doesn't... Why doesn't everything start again? Why doesn't everything start again? That, that trace should be started again. I've got... Oh, that's because it's mine. Oh, what did I just... I delete my own logs. That's all right. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Look, here we are. Let's uh, delete all those. Bye. So once we're here, we can now take our time. SCP. It's, it's really weird that they don't uh, placement part one. Okay, let's get that. No, part one dot docs. Sorry, my bad. And then we come back and go a point two. Okay, that's those done. Uh, order requirement certs. Uh, DPR forms. Cut sheet. Uh, yeah, okay. These are just like standard business documents. Basil, chili powder, monosodium glutamate, onion, salt, red pepper, paprika, rubbed sage, garlic powder, allspice, oregano, and ahishawam. Wow, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so is that everything that we need to do? I think it might be everything we need to do. Oh, well, we've got all the files that we need anyway. It's uh, DC. Hopefully he'll just let me go, hey, reply. I oh, know I need to upload these things, don't I? I do need to upload. I was just going to go through a reply, but that's not how it works at all. We need to go to public drop server. Okay, well, we need to... Uh, what was that? What was the upload? And then I have to put the whole thing in. Here we go home. Uh, there, pressing tab shows us the full list here of what we can do. So I want to go seasoning. Can I not autocomplete? Uh, part one autocomplete. Thank you. And then we'll go part two and we'll autocomplete that. And then I think maybe it's time to scrub our machine clean of stuff like this. But let's go and check the email. Okay, so that's good, right? That transfer's complete. We've put the stuff in. Oh, this public drop server. Let's um, just have a quick look, shall we? I mean, why would we not want to have a quick look here? <laughs> let's uh, SSH. Uh, I forgot to put the port number in. But obviously, we want to go and look at the public server, right? Why would we not want to go and look at their public server? FTP. I mean, who knows what we're going to find in here? Maybe there's some nice little software for us to use. Maybe there's some more uh, usernames and stuff like that we can use. I mean, that would that would be nice. I uh, don't want to do that. Can we go up far enough to find other stuff? No. No, we can't. Let's, let's come back down. There's... What are these there? There, you see that? The UI just kind of flits in and out in a weird way. SMT overflow is a 25. I wonder if I can leave this running and then go play some point clicker. 
Uh, that, that would be great if I could. Uh, web service worm. 80! If, if we can, any moment now. Just, just finish up there. Brilliant. Now this one's also going to take a while. If I... No, I can't... Can we get a second terminal? Can we have another one here? Is that, is that a thing that I can do? That would be so nice. We can actually port hack right now. I've just noticed we only need three and I've uh, already broken three of the four. Not sure what this is supposed to be doing. But it did it. Whatever it did, it's done it. Uh, now we're gonna, just going to run a small dictionary hack. This is this is good. This is good. We have definitely figured out how we're going to do stuff. Um, uh, CD slash home. Let, let's see if it lets me in there. It does. Look, look at all these new folders. Empty, em, uh, IRC logs, keyboard test. I'm sure we've seen this. Uh, I can at least use the return. Yeah, no, we've seen this already. So someone else has been like, "Hey, I'm going to dump this here." Okay, which is which is my one? We would have thought we'd have had to have put it in somewhere. Drop. There we go. Request dot zip. Let's read this. Nope. All right. Maybe not. Server message dot text. You're authenticated to open file. Upload into the server. Oh, should we should we edit this? No, we're not going to edit this. That's nice. Okay. And here's the two uh, uploads that I sent. I really wish I could read a zip. Yeah, cat zip doesn't work, does it? Uh, cat ct2 dot zip. Let's let's try it. File not found. All right, fine. Did I not do that right? No, I didn't. I put an S instead of a two. What's wrong with me? No, and we just get the uh, the outlay of data. That's fine. That that's fine. I would have thought they would have got back to me by now. Did they want something else as well? Is is it's one other thing? Something you need? If you can get a hold of the list and upload it to the public drop server, I'd be more than happy to let you in. I've, I've done that. Uh, re reply. Additional details. Done. Add that and send it off. Yeah, there we go. Always have to remember to reply to the email. Like they're not going to just instantly know to look on the on the internet, are they? Congratulations! That was a terrible roll dial. Let me try. It. Congratulations, hacks or elite skills. No swarm, brother. I've actually had uh, I've actually had a dig around on the mainframe before a while ago and couldn't find it. Props for you for tracking it down. That's quite an entrance you've made for yourself. I'll take the opportunity to formally welcome you to CSEC. I'm going to go with CSEC. Everyone here knows what they're doing, or at least to some extent. Yeah, to some extent. You should feel right at home if you found that job, uh, uh, that last job easy. It was, it was all right. There was a lot of tracking down. I've attached your new login details to the server hub. From there, you can pick up contracts, download new code, and generally just use it as a home base. I'll stay in touch. Go pick yourself up some new programs from the stash as a congratulations present. Woo! Look at all these things. There's that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add them. Add them all. So we've got a link to here. Um, so that's the asset server. That's that's this one. Is this the one we're actually logged in? No, we're logged into the server at the moment. Okay, so let's go to the asset server and have a look. Probe system. I mean, we could could find our way in just nicely, couldn't we? Or we could just run all of these. I'm tempted to shut down. Oh, look, we don't need these. Let's shut down some some stuff. I'm going to leave this running, but with this shut down, there's a trace running. Are you kidding me? It's the asset server. What? FTP bounce? <laughs> let's, let's just get going, shall we? 21. Uh, that was terrible. Music's picked up. I love it. Uh, SMT. Let's see if we can't do this as well. Should have started the... Uh, what is it? The web worm first, because that's the one that just takes, like, forever. Yeah, no, no memory at the moment. But with that done, we can then start this running. This is good. So once I've got access, I just DC and come back, right? Like, that, that's the way it works. Because, like, the trace only works when I'm probing and hacking. Oh, that, that's what I'm coming up with, anyway. Okay, so there we go. We have got ourselves in here. We can do the old port hack, get ourselves a password dump. I'm glad this doesn't take too long. Uh, I understand it does take a little while to fill that in, but uh, view logs. Watch this. We're going to go RM star, and then we're going to leave after this is done. You see, which is silly, because now if I go back, right, the asset store, this is where we're going to go have a look. We're going to look at the view logs. Look, ah, uh, what's all this? What is all this, eh? This, this is terrible. This is terrible. RM star. So let's, let's get rid of all that. We don't need to know that the ports have been opened or closed, do they? Uh, templates. Death row database. Template. No, no, no. Themes. Mmm. 
Should we, uh... Yeah, I, th I think we shall at some point. But let's have a look through, see what we got. SQL Memory Corruptor. Info.text. Oh, that's nice. So, uh, let let's grab this first. SCP SQL. I don't remember running into any SQL places. Do you, do you guys remember seeing any? The web server worm we've already got. Uh, web server programs exploiting a buffer overflow to allow the injection of arbitrary code. Doesn't really make it a worm, does it? Uh, and sequencer. There we go. What was this? What does the sequencer do? Oh, I hope it lets me like run programs uh, like sequentially. You know what I'm saying? Like one after the other. Uh, that would be good. Uh, there is an E in sequencer. There we go. Let's copy that across as well. So that's a transfer complete. I kind of want to get this nice theme. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, csec underscore there. And then we're going to copy it to a sys. Um, score. Like, can I, can I just... Let's, let's have a look. Let's, let's DC from here. Okay, we're going to go home. Should probably clear all these botnets out as well, actually. View, file, log, uh, RM start. We've not had to use them this time, but that, that's pretty good. It's, it's nice when you don't have to use them. Uh, this place, view, logs. It'd be nice to be able to leave a little program behind me just to get rid of the last, like, once I de disconnect from here, look, DC, boom, that has been logged. So what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? No one else is using this place, which is nice. Okay, let's do this. You would have thought even maybe, I don't know, a local user would be using stuff? But, uh, no, no, it turns out not. Uh, so, Ben, look at all these folders. This, this is nice. Uh, se uh, sequencer. Let's, let's see what happens. Link unavailable. All right, we'll have to uh, study that up. Let's go have a look in the other server. Log in, brilliant. Uh, just use that stuff, of course. All right, cool. Uh, user list. Look at all those users. I wonder how many of these we already have passwords for. Probably quite a few. There I am, at the bottom, rank zero. Woo! Look, here's a person who's just joined up. I bet we can, I bet we can join them and see what's going on. Uh, contract listing. There is a whole bunch there. Some are locked out for me. Decrypt to secure transmission, help an aspiring writer. And that's all right. But up here, we have a whole bunch of other things. But we're going to have to look at that next time because I have just noticed how long this episode has gone. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this, well, initiation of an adventure. I will see you next time. We're going to do our first proper mission for CSEC. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!